main election-related developments of the last week of December relate to the election watchdog leader Anar Mehmetli's arrest. Lawyer and human rights defenders assessed Mehmetli's arrest as pressure against civil society and an attempt to conceal election falsifications. Saida Gojamanli, member of the Human Rights Monitoring Group, called this arrest a big disgrace. She promised to raise Mehmetli's case during the winter session of the PAC. According to the head of the Women Crisis Center, Metanet Azizova, Mehmetli was arrested purely because of election monitoring report. The final report contained facts of election fraud. It is supposed that the authors of negative reports on election will also face pressure. Anar Mehmetli is just one of the victims. Anyone can be arrested. Therefore, everybody should be concerned about Anar's arrest and give support to him, she said. According to the coordinator of Azerbaijan Without Political Prisoners Community Alliance, Oktay Gulaliyev, Anar Mehmetli's arrest is revenge against him. Mr. Mehmetli was arrested for his consistent and systematic monitoring of elections. Mehmetli's organization, Election Monitoring and Democracy Studies Center, has always been an impartial election watchdog, its reports being quite objective, said Gulaliyev. On December 23rd, Baku Appellate Court denied Mehmetli's appeal against detention. On December 25th, OSC OIDIHR released a final report on October 9 presidential election held in Azerbaijan. The report concluded that the election was undermined by limitations on the freedoms of expression, assembly and association that did not guarantee a level playing field for candidates. Continued allegations of candidate and voter intimidation and a restrictive media environment marred the campaign. Significant problems were observed throughout all stages of election day processes and underscored the serious nature of the shortcomings that need to be addressed in order for Azerbaijan to fully meet its OEC commitments for genuine and democratic elections. The counting was assessed in overwhelmingly negative terms with 58% of observed polling stations assessed as bad or very bad. Indications of 23 cases of ballot box stuffing were noted during the count. In 42 counts observed, pressing election commissions had difficulties completing the results protocol, which in a number of cases was not completed by pen as required. In 15 counts observed, the official protocol form had been signed by present election commission members before their results had been established. Several serious procedural shortcomings were noted, including present election commissions filling in protocols at the Constituent Election Commission premises, observed in 18 cases. The majority of previous OSC OIDIHR recommendations remain unaddressed in the law, including key provisions related to the composition of election commissions and candidate registration. Overall, the Central Election Commission efficiently administered the technical preparations for the election, respecting legal deadlines. The Central Election Commission held regular sessions open to observers and media publishing decisions in a timely manner. Nevertheless, the formula in which all election commissions are structured gives pro-government forces a de facto decision-making majority in them. As a result of this, opposition representatives express a lack of confidence in the election administration's impartiality.